Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. With that, let's get up to Atlanta. We're standing by at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Lutz now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one we as it's this. through the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by the third overall pick in the 2008 draft, the man they call Matty Ice, quarterback Matt Ryan. And they said he would be a gym rat coming out of Boston College, and nothing has changed, and his play continues to get better as he rallies his team. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And down inside the 10 at the 9. A huge play there right off the bat. 66 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. take long one play and we're already looking at a first and goal situation out of the gun it's Ryan the quick slant caught and they get him down at the one he had the broken tackle but ultimately could not get into the end zone nice gain of eight that time and it's second and goal second and goal and the lone man in the backfield is Freeman here's Ryan to throw to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. But now it's third and goal. And here's the offense now, Charles. Who's the guy you chose to highlight? The tone setter, the guy in the middle, Alex Mack. His return, never good for the opposition. A big play to start the drive got him in this position, but this defense has held firm since, and now it's third and goal. Again, right. It's Hooper for the Falcon touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. On for the extra point, Giorgio Tavecchio. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7-0 lead. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Now, 
after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here come the Saints now for their first drive. They're led out by their six-foot quarterback. You may have heard of him from Purdue. It's Drew Brees. And when you think of Drew Brees, you think of production, and you think of competitiveness. That guy competes on every snap, whether he's throwing it, moving around in the pocket, calling plays, you name it, he knows how to rally a team. So Brees going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Ready, 95, 56. Let him know, let him know. Let him know. Staying on the ground on first with Camara. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Hey, come on, oh, come on, oh. Breeze now to throw. It's brought in right side by Ginn. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one, a first down pickup of eight. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Breeze leaves this one with Camara. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Now Camara. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. That's it, baby. The starting defense for the Falcons. Many people thought Keanu Neal was overdrafted by Atlanta, but they saw his talents and knew that he would fit their scheme perfectly. A hybrid player can play deep in the secondary as a safety, can drop down into the box and also make a lot of tackles, and at times can stay on the field and serve a hey, linebacker lady. role as well. Lady, lady. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. On second down, Camara. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. That's complete to his running back, Camara. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big-time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. you still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance Put count. Ready. Ready. Now a 
first carry for Latavius Murray. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. The Saints with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a second and 14 upcoming. Inside the 20 at the 19. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. From the gun on third down, Breeze. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Ted Ginn there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Will Lutz on for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. A 10-play drive that time, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This one fielded at the 5. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. On first down, Ryan. tight end Hooper and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down the drive starting play a good one give him 19 almost not fair the big guy running the corner route being able to lean and push and get to where he wants so how do you stop it a lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him a bigger body guy who can handle him physically but a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Sanu with a grab over the middle. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back 
back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Ryan. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by a former first-round pick, Patrick Robinson. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, 69 yards. And the Saints have taken the lead. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels. And that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Lutz good on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Matt Ryan of the Falcon offense set to get going again. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Again on second and ten, it's Ryan. Got his man, that's the pro bowler Julio Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. I know that's their first connection in this game, but you and I both know that Julio Jones is without a doubt his quarterback's favorite target. Oh, yeah, Matt Ryan loves this guy. Who wouldn't? Yeah, and the reason that he's that is because of his dependability. And quarterbacks have to have that from their receivers, meaning they know where they're going to be when they're running certain routes. They don't break them on them. They don't change them up and do their own freelance stuff and put their quarterbacks in bad situations. Matt Ryan has ultimate trust in Julio Jones. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again, Ryan. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 30. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. This is caught, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Austin Hooper with his second touchdown here in this first half. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. 
There could be plenty more before this game is over. The lefty to Vecchio now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one, Bruin. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive spanned five plays. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, ready? not giving up the I'm long not. pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Throwing on first down is Breeze. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Bree's going to come up here first and 10, and he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. A four receiver look here. Three out to the left, one to the right on second and eight. To throw is Breeze. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Breeze to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. It appears they found something that's working and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply, if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Breeze to throw again. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. 22 yards there, a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. To throw again on second down, Breeze. And he's got it, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Drew Brees does it again. Three first-half touchdown passes for him now, as his guys have now moved out in front. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point, because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside, 
Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Lutz to try to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be taken about the 12. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start it over. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. This will be fielded at the six. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They have the lead, now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half, that worked okay, but in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Toss play, Camara. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Uh, here's a throw right side, taken in by his tight end. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. things you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch but in this situation the defense was effective able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going so second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down breeze now Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Now a 
first down carry. It's Kamara. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on, right, and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. Kind of surprised they accept the penalty. The only thing that comes to mind for me is they want to move them back five yards because they feel good about their defense. But in most situations, you take the down. <laughs> that, that's, that's what counts more. Mike, Mike, check, check. On second down, here's Breeze. Completes this one to Meredith. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there's an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Four touchdown passes now for Drew Brees. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Lutzel looked to add the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and their halftime hole now even deeper and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them they were down at the half now as you mentioned they're down a little bit bigger but no time for discouragement just got to get back to it right put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half after the incompletion here's second and ten from the 20 to throw again, Ryan. The left side completion to Jones. 16 yards, a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break it. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are 
in the portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. So after the INT, it's Breeze. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Drew Brees turning back the clock. Five touchdown passes for him on the afternoon. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Well, what a quick turnaround there. They get the football. Next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs, and if you're over on the bench with your defensive mate, and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to go. Is that what is yelled on the sidelines a lot of times? That, among other things. <laughs> Maybe some words we can't share here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this one PG. CC violation. No doubt. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Going up top. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Ryan leads with Freeman on the draw. Freeman the first down and more. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. He's at the 30. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman, 75 yards, and the Falcons cut into that lead. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done. And oh, he takes off with it. It's a fake. And he is not going to get in here. So the decision to go for two does not pay off as they're unable to cut any further into their deficit. After the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision. And then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Again, it's Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. Now Breeze. And Ken's got to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A little surprise pays off on third and one. Pass instead of run. Gets him 15 yards. Ready? 95-56. Let's go, D. It's going to be a long day off this. It's going to be a long day. Cut! 
On first and ten, here's Breeze. And complete right side to Cook. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. It's brought in right side by Ginn. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And that'll bring up second down. From the 21, it's second and 10. A 10th carry for Kamara. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. And pretty good running as he'll be close to a first down at the Falcons' 13-yard line. Breeze looking to throw on third and two. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 11. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. My word, it'll be nothing short of a monstrous loss on the play, and it's a second down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. He's going to air one out. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe you can expect more passes like that downfield. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Out to his left. Able to shake him off. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. 
So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Breeze now to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Ted Ginn. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that round early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And his kick is good, and flags fly as well. Some frustration showing through right now. This is going to be a roughing call. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty's not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. The 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Falcons! Julio Jones, 75 yards, and the Falcons get a bit closer. you got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they have the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. This will be fielded at the six. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And still a little bit of time left, but the defense can't stop the clock. So three kneel downs should be enough to finish this one off. Now a play fake here on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Drew Brees with a kneel down, and that ought to do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your own crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, Oh, how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points.